Well, Michelle, you rode Yosei wherever she goes uh, on Saturday. Uh, how she come back from the break, do you feel? She feels like she's in really terrific order. She um, couldn't be happy with her, like, her coming along and she trialled really nicely yesterday and I'm um, really looking forward to the autumn with her. Just take us through that trial at Cranbourne yesterday. Um, jumped and really bounced her out. We've been trying to get her up, up and running this time because she got wow. it, developed a bad habit of jumping and sort of taking four or five strides to get into gear and giving them a head start. So we've concentrated on that this time and she jumped and got up and running. There was a horse that went really fast in the trial but I'm really happy with how she sort of worked to the line and ran, really ran through the line like she's... Um, happy to do the work and she seems really happy and well so just excited that and hope that everything goes well. And first up on Saturday just as so long as she hits the line on Saturday is that your main concern? Yeah for sure like, I think she probably acquit herself pretty well she's pretty forward and she's going good so really looking forward to her anyway. And the autumn's a great time for a horse like her too given the amount of mares races such as the Coolmore uh, that are on during this time of year. Yeah definitely yep and um, she's She's been a great little horse for me so far and whatever she does I'll be happy with but um, just she, you can never underestimate her because she always sort of puts herself there and she counts when, um, when you want her to so we're, we're just, um, right, I'm right to be involved with such a nice horse and really looking forward to riding her again this, this campaign.